Good day, everybody. Today we're going to do le lesson plan number five, grade five, term two. Our topic is addition and subtraction problem solving. Um, your DBE workbook link is worksheet 29B and 30B. Let's quickly go there. You've got 29B and there you've got 30B. Um, I'm going to go back. This is your CAPS link. Um, then again, your resources and tips. Please go through this, pause the video, go through it, read it. Um, because here we explain to you, um, we give you very important keywords for addition. Make sure that your learners and children know these. Let them take each of these words and make a sentence with it. Um, and then this, uh, you have your keywords for your subtraction. Very, very important to know those keywords. Um, then we're going to come to the mental maths for today. Um, I want you now to pause the video and let your child... Um, answer this mentally or orally. Okay, welcome back. I'm quickly going to reveal the answers. I want you to pause and then mark your answers. Okay, let's start here. So with the problem solving, I first want to ask the learners the following question. How do you look or how do you feel when I say to you, you need to do problems or mathematics problems. Do you feel like this? I don't know. Do you feel like this? I'm so scared. Do you feel like this? You don't have any more strength for this. Or do you feel just you just want to stick out your tongue and say, I don't want to do it. No, this is definitely not going to help you in the future. Remember what we all need to do. We need to become problem solvers. It doesn't matter in which uh, job you're going to do. You need to solve problems. If you become an adult, you have daily problems. Later on, you're going to get married. You've got children. You will still get problems. So problem solving in mathematics, it's a lifelong skill. What we need to do is, we need to understand how to solve problems. We need to read about it. We need to get that wow moment. It should be like music in our ears. And we need to have a big smile on our face. With a positive attitude, we can solve problems. So let's quickly see. I'm quickly going to explain the main ideas and parents you could and teachers, you can pause any time here and then explain it to the learners again. So the first thing is when we solve problems, the first thing is we're going to read and underline the question. So we first read the problem and then we underline the question. What do they want us to do? Then we're going to write down the keyword. So in the question is usually a keyword that tells us, is it addition or is it subtraction? It doesn't tell you you need to add these or you need to subtract these. You need to look for that keyword. Then what you need to do is you circle the key numbers. So there are key numbers there, but please be careful of the hidden numbers. I'm just going to use a very basic example. Mom buys five apples and then another four. How many apples did she buy all together? So what we have is the key numbers of five and four. But now again is mom sees 10 beautiful apples, but she decides to buy five green apples and four red apples. How many apples did she buy altogether? Here's nine. Remember the 10 we're not going to use, she only saw them. So that is example of a hidden number. So always be careful not to use hidden numbers. If you got a hidden numbers, cross them out. Then what you have is we had characters here. We got mom, we got objects, apples, make a drawing. Or even if you need to use apparatus. So with bigger numbers, if you need to make drawings or apparatus, your base 10 blocks are the best. Now you're going to write your number sentence. I'm just going to use this example of mom again. So 5 plus 4 equals placeholder. That little square 
that you always use maybe in the foundation phase where you need to fill in a number on a worksheet. That's very important. 5 plus 4 equals to placeholder. Moms and dads, remember teachers, this little placeholder later becomes X, Y, and Z. It becomes a variable. Then show all your workings. Maybe we showed you different methods. Maybe you use different method to get to the answer to show those workings. And then at the end is you can write a sentence by saying, Mom bought nine apples. Remember, does your answer make sense? If mom bought five and four apples and your answer is 900, it doesn't make sense. Then you need to go and revisit. So let's quickly then go and look. So here you have your examples for today. So let's quickly see. So the first thing what we said is we read the problem. Then we identify the question. Then after we identify the question, we looked at what's the keyword. Now in this case, it's all together. So all together means to add. So what do we need to add? My dad bought two mo motorcycles. The one cost 35,660 and the other one 29,550. So what we do is we identify the numbers. So those are the numbers. So now we already have, we have two numbers and we have a symbol, the addition symbol. So we're going to add them. What is the story about? The story is about dad and about his motorcycles. So you can make a drawing. So here we got two motorcycles and we got a dad. So you could write down the prices um, below each and then the number sentence. So 35,660 Rand plus 29,550 Rand equals placeholder. Solve it by showing all your workings and at the end is dead paid and you write down the amount. Here the next example is my dad saved 90,000. How much money does he left? have left after paying for the two motorcycles. Now we got two keywords. We got 90 and we got two. But how much money have he have left? Another keyword. So left tells us that we're going to subtract. We got here a number and we got here a number. But this number is a hidden number. We're not going to subtract 2 from 90,000. We need to go back to the previous answer. So your previous answer will be your second number. Very, be very careful if, you're, if you've got a word problem that's broken up into two parts. Then what you're going to do is you're going to say 90,000 minus the answer you got in A equals place older, show all your workings, and then at the end is my dad has so much money left. So go and try these um, examples. We gave you pictures to help you to solve it. And then the problem solving, um, this time is we want you to write your own problem and then give it to somebody to solve. Here again, we got some an examples. So questions that came out of old question papers, we got an idea of, of a game. Um, I'm just going to change our store.co.za. If you want to go and purchase these lesson plans or the workbooks, just to make it easier, if you prefer to do it on, to use pen and paper, then again is if you got all both yeses, you can carry on. If you got the no, you need to revisit, revise, or you need to contact us at SA Teacher.